Hey, it's Pat here, and in this video, I wanna show you the quickest way that I found to write a blog post and have it be done without hardly any effort at all. The reason why you wanna pay attention to this is because writing a blog post takes quite a bit of time. And since writing blog posts since 2007, I've tried and experimented with a number of different ways, and over time, I've landed on something that I think you will enjoy too. Now, at this very moment, I'm writing a blog post series on the blog that is about webinars. Webinars are online seminars, if you will. And it's a 10 chapter or 10 blog post series. And I wanna crank these out as fast as possible. So I wanna share with you the way that we at Team SPI do it uh, so that it gets done efficiently, it gets done well, and it still comes from me. I do, just to give you some insight, have a person help me write this, but they are not ghost writing it. I don't just give them the topic and say, go figure it out. Most of the content is still coming from me. We did this one way for quite a while, and I'm gonna share with you what that is, and it worked okay, but it was getting a little bit expensive because of the tools that we were using. I've recently found another and brand new tool that I think you will enjoy that uh, makes this really, really easy, and I'll show you in real time how it happens. So let's write some blog posts really quickly. So the big secret here is to dictate the blog post, right? And so this is what we're doing. We're actually recording my own voice about my own thoughts about this blog post. And then we have a person on my team take that audio recording and the transcription of it. So the written words from that audio recording, because it's so much faster to, to speak than it is to write all those words out. Plus, as you are speaking, you can get more stories out of uh, your brain. You can describe it a little bit more eloquently. When you are in writing mode, it's slower and you're kind of editing as you go. And it uses a different part of the brain than the creative side, which is why, again, I like to dictate this. The problem is what you dictate isn't going to translate well to a exact written blog post. Somebody or you have to go in and take and extrapolate that and turn it into something that's actually legible for and readable on a blog. So right now I'm using an app called Rev on my phone. You can see a number of chapters that I've already spoken about before I discovered this new brand new strategy. But what I do is I hit record. And as you can see, it's recording and I think the waveforms are coming in now. Check, check, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. Pause that, play it. They're coming in now. Check, check, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. And then what I could do right here in the app is I could, in fact, just transcribe it. And what it does is it takes maybe less than a day. It gets sent to Rev. A human on the other end transcribes it and sends it back in a PDF format or a Word document. And what's really nice is because it's a human on the other end, it's actually quite accurate, which is really nice, but it is quite expensive. Rev at this time is I think a dollar or a dollar 10 cents per minute. So if you're speaking and it might be, I don't know, a 1000 to 2000 word blog post that might take 10, 15 minutes to read. I mean, you're spending, you know, 15, 20 bucks every time you do this. And that's quite a bit. But then after I get that transcription, I push that over to my team, my part-time writer who then takes that and turns it into a nicely formatted structured blog post. And then I just say approve essentially, or uh, update it if there are any holes or things that I think could be added, and then it gets published. And so overall, the time to actually write this blog post is just the time it takes to record this and to get it transcribed. And again, it takes a little bit of money to transcribe it in this way. But I found another tool that is, if you do this quite often, much, much cheaper, and you get the transcription almost instantly. So let's go to the computer. I'll show you how this works. So here I am and I have the 10 chapters here for the upcoming series, the SPI guide to winning webinars. I've already recorded the first four chapters and I'm right, right now I'm on chapter five. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly outline this chapter so that I actually have some roadmap. I don't just wanna like spit randomness. So I'm gonna have a roadmap and outline and then I'm going to hit record on something called Descript, which you can see here on the right hand side. In fact, what I'm going to do is go to new project. This will be the SPI guide to winning webinars, create project. And this composition will be called chapter five webinar marketing. And so this is the chapter I'm about to outline and I'm just going to speed through this. So I got my trusty post-it notes because I like to work backwards from what's the ultimate transformation or outcome that I want for a reader of this piece of content. And then I reverse engineer from there. So it might be a number of steps or perhaps stories, case studies, et cetera. And then I will hit record, speak through that outline or through those steps, and then 
you'll see what happens in Descript. That's pretty magical. So let me just fast forward a little bit. I'm going to take a few moments to outline this. I think it's important to outline and, and at least have a roadmap when you dictate your blog post. So it's just not all over the place. And the writer or you, when you come in later, whoever it might be, can actually at least follow along instead of just kind of put this puzzle piece together. All right, so I have my outline ready and I'm gonna go back to the computer and we're going to speak this out. I'm gonna hit record on the script right now and you're gonna see the magic happen. So we're gonna add a voice recording and this will be, um, let's see, Roadcaster Pro for the input, just to make sure. Check, check, mic, check, one, two, three. And it looks like we're good and ready to go. So I'm gonna hit record and we'll go from here and you'll see it happen in real time. Chapter five, webinar marketing. The first and most important thing when it comes to getting more people to show up to your webinar is to have a topic worth showing up to. We need to make sure that we nail the language that our target audience will respond to. Adding some scarcity can go a long way too. We want to increase the number of conversions from people who register to those who show up. If you're excited about this and you're motivated, it'll transpire through into your content, into your words, into your registration pages, into your emails, and it will hopefully get other people excited. All right, so I'm gonna hit stop. I messed up a few times, but as you'll notice here, the transcription was created seriously, like just as we go. Uh, so chapter five, webinar marketing, the first and most important thing. In fact, I could play this to, to show you. Chapter five, webinar marketing. The first and most important thing when it comes to getting more people to show up. To, and as you can see, there's a period here because I paused too much and then a capital getting. Again, not a huge deal because the person who's gonna be taking this, this is good enough for them to take and turn into a blog post, which I think is really cool. So this is gonna save so much time and also money because I already have the transcript for this. I'm not gonna have to wait a day. Plus I don't have to pay a, a company $1 um, and 10 cents, which this is about a seven minute recording. So that would be $7 and 70 cents that I'm saving by having Descript and I can have this done much faster. So whether it's myself going back and you know extrapolating all this and turning it into a nicely structured blog post or a part-time writer that you might have, that can work out really well. Now, one other cool thing that I wanna show you about Descript, which I'm gonna do some other videos about later, that is pretty, pretty crazy is I can actually add text in here. For example, one thing I forgot to mention, make sure at all times you're having fun. I submitted a 10 minute file of my voice yesterday. And what it does is Descript can, if you enable overdub, it will take your voice, it'll understand how it works, and now watch this. One thing I forgot to mention, make sure at all times you're having fun. Thanks so much and good luck. I know I was saying that while I was typing it, but let me try one more time. So let's wait. It's gonna take just a couple seconds here. I did not say this with my voice. You can hear hopefully the Pat Flynn-like intonations. Here we go. This is not me recording it. This is Decrypt working its magic. Although it seems a bit scary when you think about it. Good for editing things though and filling in holes where you might have left them. I misspelled Descript, should be Descript, but anyway. One of the powerful, powerful things about Descript is it can help you transcribe. It can help you edit your podcast. And if you forget something, you can just add it in there with the overdub. And that's pretty powerful. In a future video, I'm gonna see if I can actually fake people out with the overdub. I'm gonna submit more time to enhance my voice a little bit more and see if I can actually create a mini podcast episode entirely from typing without recording any of my voice. So make sure you subscribe and stick around for that. I just love to share fun experiments and things that I do in my business. You're literally watching me over my shoulder as I create these transcripts for my writer as we are building out this guide. So make sure to hit subscribe because 
everything that I do in my business, I want to share with you so you can understand the processes and things that we've learned over, I mean, for me, uh, 12 years of doing this and recently three years having a, a full-time team. Um, and I want to fast forward your success too. So Team Flynn, thank you so much for watching this video. You now know how we take the information in my brain, transcribe it, and now with the script instantly do it. And I'll have links in the show notes below for all the things that we mentioned today. And um, now we can write a blog post from it. So let me know what you think. And um, lo I'd love to hear your response to the overdub uh, automation tool. So anyway, uh, that's in the script. Thanks so much. Team Flynn, you're amazing. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And peace out. As always, Team Flynn for the win.